welcome to the Soul Tribe Podcast. The Soul Tribe Podcast was created to help you navigate through the world of spirituality, wellness, and self-development in an easy, grounded, and relatable way. We break down everything from the Akashic Records, manifesting, spirituality, and so much more. We want to help expand your boundaries and bring the spiritual world to you in a fun and easy way. Get ready to be inspired with tips, tools, and easy-to-digest information. Let's do this. Hey Soul Tribe, today we're going to basically give you guys a catch-up episode about what Lorraine and I are up to, what we've been doing, um, what future projects we have. I also want to talk about my health, since health is a big issue worldwide. Um, and how I've been kind of helping myself out. Um, but let's start with the fact that there's something that we have in common. We both got a, well, I got a natal chart reading from Patricia, which we've interviewed her. We have two episodes with her. I got a natal chart reading with her because I was very interested in seeing what came out. And you got a solar, what's it called? I think it's a solar return. I don't remember the name, but it's basically from your birth month, from one birth month, from one year to the next. So it's, Your year. it kind of goes over the transits that you're going to go through and it's more specific to that year and things you're going to feel and things you're going to struggle with. And it kind of helps you kind of organize yourself and understand things a little bit better. It was very different from the natal chart reading. I wouldn't say really different, but... It felt different because first you have your natal chart, which is something I wanted you to get so bad. So I'm so glad you did that. Um, and maybe you can tell people what you thought of it. But I love my natal chart reading and I and I wanted to understand things a little bit more now because of everything that's happening and things I was feeling and, and a lot of transitions like, you know, I lost my job and all these things and we're trying to move forward with our, our own projects and stuff. So it was really, really, really good. Like... I seriously listened to it like twice already after I got it done and I already feel it gives me so much confidence and it gives me so much strength in doing the things that I need to do and feeling like these things I was feeling are totally true. It's kind of like a reading, but different, like an Akashic Records reading, but different. I would highly recommend her. Like we'll put her information on the show notes, but you know, if, if you've ever thought about or, um, even toyed with the idea of understanding your natal chart or understanding your sign and why you're feeling a certain way, why you're going through things. Even past life stuff came up in your chart, right? Like it's that profound. It's that crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. I was surprised that I didn't know that stuff comes up. I'm new to the astrology world and the fact the, 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 just seeing the kind of information you get and seeing the calculations and how, you know, how everything ties together that made me more interested in finding more out about astrology than I was before. So that might be something I decide to pursue sometime soon. I'm like one of those, like, I'm like a spiritual hoarder. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, like, I started, you know, I, I did, obviously, Akashic Records, Akashic Records, and then Tarot, and now I'm thinking about astrology, and oh, wait, I did Angelic Healing. Angelic and- Healing, I was going to say, yeah. Back flowers and like I keep hoarding tools more like it's never enough. I want more. I want more. I feel the same way. Yeah. Like with things. Yeah. But only because I keep seeing them that they work. So why wouldn't I try to help yeah. people with it? I well in my mind I want to have this like mega structure of tools and things where and I want it to come off of the basis of my Akashic Records reading. So I have this exactly this reading for a person, and then I want to use those tools as secondary helpers to further help the person that's coming for a reading. That's, that's That's what I want. That's exactly how I envisioned it too for myself. So I want, yeah, I want to hoarder more tools to help more. That's it really. But also because I'm interested in, in, in knowing about them. Right. Yeah. And like we always say with our course, like the more you know about anything spiritual, the more you're going to be able to channel about it and communicate about it and be able to help people with it. So it, it's just, makes sense you know what I mean yeah but what did you think like I want to hear and I want people to hear like what you thought of your natal chart because I know that was something that you were very like you just weren't interested in it but now that you've got it you were like now I understand yeah I wasn't interested in it because I well you know how I imagined it I imagined it like she was going she was or you know the astrologer is going to be like yeah you're you know 
all these characteristic traits of my personality that I already know myself very well. I'm like, why do I want somebody to tell me the way I am? I already know how the way I am. So it didn't really make sense to me. Like I, I was thinking like the Sagittarius thing, like, oh, you're Sagittarius. So this and this and this and this, right? But it was much more profound than that. Um, and it really touched base on a lot of, a lot of things. It does give you information. It's like you said, it's like an Akashic Records reading, but it's really not like an Akashic Records reading um, because obviously the information comes from a different place. Um, but it gives you the information in a different way to deal with it differently. So now I have to, I'm going to deal with it in the astrology, astrological way. And I'm going to deal with my things, um, in, in like the Akashic Records way. Like I'm going to do both. Right. Um, so I don't know my opinion is I loved it. I, I really did. I really liked it. Um, I found out things about my soul that I didn't know that would come through via an astrolog natal chart, astrology, astrological Astrolo natal yeah, chart. Yeah, astrological reading. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was surprising to me. That was really surprising to me. Um, even the fact that I was like born premature came up. Like, how, that's crazy. Like, a lot of things came up. You didn't tell her either, right? No, she asked me because she said it was like, it seems like it was showing up. And I was like, yep. and I could just confirm it to her. Um, so it seems to show up, right? And just like relationship with people around you, those things jumped up too. And times where things it's happen. fascinating. Yeah, like times where like, things happen. I just smile. <laughs> that's, that's why I started studying with her because it was not like any other reading I'd gotten before. It's so crazy. Like... And I like that kind of astrology, the humanistic, psychological astrology of understanding things in a different way and being able to, it's like she always says in the course, um, and she says several times, it's like, when you understand these patterns that you're going through and they're right there clearly on your chart, you can do better. Like you can make better decisions. You can change it. You're not stuck in that fate of your chart. When these things come to light, you shed light on them, and then you can you can modify things, you can change things, you can see things differently. Not today, and that's powerful. Bobo. <laughs> yeah, it's so powerful. <laughs> like the, yeah. like the saying the Cayman Islands, right? Not today, Bobo. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it gives you power, literally. And I saw the same thing. I feel about a reading. The knowledge is power. Yeah, so much. And I would highly recommend also her as an astrology teacher. She's amazing. So. Um, just very knowledgeable, and just the way she goes about and teaches and shows things. Well, she was a, she was a teacher, so she has a lot of patience. Yeah. Um, she just knows how to teach, you know. Yeah, but also she's really sl you know she takes the time that's needed, and she has a lot of patience. And and there's a lot of information with astrology, apparently. So oh I think God. that's something you really oh. need is preferred as astrology teacher, right? Yeah, like three years just to be able to read her natal chart correctly and fully so that's crazy it's crazy it's like the amount of time yeah. that it took me to learn to fly an airplane <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's complex it's <laughs> complex for sure yeah so okay so we both got that and mine and in my and, and, and those have had a records readings before um well not not everybody but a lot of people i've had uh, readings i've done readings for the Akashic Records love Family Constellation. And for those of you who don't know what Family Constellation is, it is this really amazing tool where you get to energetically, I think I would say, I would call it right energetically, work with past trauma, like family family dynamics, um, issues you have with relationships and people around you. You get to yeah. energetically work on it with Family Constellations. And that person doesn't have to be there. Like, let's say that there's one specific person in your family you have issues with. Um, that person doesn't have to be there. There will be someone or something that will represent that person, but the healing and the, and the work, the work that you do is just as important and effective as if that person had been there with you. Yeah. Or more powerful in my opinion. Um, I've done it before. I've, you've done it before. Oh. And we both really liked it. And there's another aspect to it that I, obviously right now with everything that's going on with coronavirus, we are not seeing probably a lot of these group cons family constellations. That is so powerful. Like I would say that's even more powerful than a one-on-one -on -one session with a therapist. It is 
insane and I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Like it is literally life changing and you connecting with all these people and you taking the position of another person, like, you know, someone chose me to be their dad or something and they just intuitively pick people. You intuitively pick somebody to take the place of that person. So there's a physical form when you're doing it with somebody, obviously I don't know how it really works online because I haven't done it online, but you can do it online, which is what you're going to do. Right. Um, I've done it actually within an Akashic Records reading, but also just, um, just a reading of like a family constellations. And there's different color shapes that you pick to represent different people. I think it depends on, I think they have more than one tool. So you're just referring to one, one, one way. That's the way I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it differently with, it was just like one object. It was all the same object. I just had to place them in different and say, this is this person. This is this person. Yeah. And you study where you, why did you place your father there? Why did you place your sister over there? And then you energetically feel when you want to put things closer and pull them apart. And then the therapist will guide you to work through that feeling. I I don't think I've ever cried as much as I've cried in in family constellations. Like, it's just insane. Like, the amount of release and healing that comes through that. When I did... the mastery for Kashuk records, which is level three Kashuk records reading, is become to become a teacher to teach. Um, we had it was it was three days of a lot of work, and one of those days we had a we had to do like a, a family. It was almost like a family constellation where you were working with somebody. Um, and at one point, I like the only person that everybody's doing their own. It's two people working with each other and we're all kind of like around this like big field area. So everybody's kind of concentrated on their own thing. So the person I was working with at one point, I broke down. I totally broke down. Like I couldn't breathe. Like you remember when I was young and I would cry, I'd go, <gasps> yeah, yeah, that I was yeah. doing that thing, which I hadn't done since I was like young. And I was like doing a full on break, emotional breakdown, cry. And, um, so that, yeah, the teacher helped us. We cleared, you know, I cleared it through and then, that night, because we were staying at a retreat, it was three days. And that night, we were all in the cabin. The girls that were staying in the cabin with me were like, Dude, "Did you guys hear that girl that totally broke down?" And I was like, "Yeah, that was me." <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that was me. I full oh. blown broke down, totally emotionally broke down. That's good though. That's really good. Yeah, um, and we cleared it out. So it was really, it was, it's crazy. You you seriously work on your issues, and it's not the person that's really there, but the person is kind of still really there. It's weird. Yeah. Um, we'll get somebody on the podcast soon to talk about all this because yeah, I think there's so much you people can get out of this, and I don't feel like it's such a mainstream thing right now. I think it needs to become more a thing that people turn, turn yeah. to to help them. Yeah. And like you and I were saying, this is also a reason why I want to study this. First, I feel very called to the tool and to the method and to how it works and how it's helped me and how I've seen it help other people. But also I feel like, um, it's, it's interesting how the Akashic records will turn to that tool, recommend that tool to so many people that come to readings with us. I mean, I've been doing this for 12 years and they're still recommending that tool. They're yeah. still sending yeah. people that, that like they feel that that would help them. They're still sending that tool and that hasn't changed. And so I got my, my natal chart reading and they, and, and, and that, that issue that I had worked on already previously in, in past, in past times, um, with family constellation that was also recommended to me with, when I was with Patricia. So I'm just revisiting that. And that's an important thing for people to know that you might work on something and it actually did clear it out. But there are cycles in life where you might come back to it later on. And so yep. it seems like I'm kind of doing a full circle and coming back to it again. So I need to clear it out again. But don't think that that, mean, that, that doesn't mean that you the first time you did it, that it didn't work. It mm. just means that it's they, the Akashic Records always call it the onion. One thing comes off and the one layer comes off and you get to the another layer of the onion. And sometimes under all those layers is that first layer you took off. You just have to go deeper into it, right? So don't think that you didn't heal it or you didn't get over it. It just means that you need to revisit it and possibly clear it out again. And something karmically is bringing it back to you. Completely. Yeah. And, I, and I've had that feeling before of like, wow, I thought I was done with this and now I have to look at it again. But it, it's like waves. And it's like we always say, it's not you open the book and you close the book. It's 
you're constantly opening and closing and going through and shift and like sifting through parts of it's like you know what I mean it's like it's never ending and that's part of our journey here of always constantly working on ourselves and looking at things and revisiting them and something might trigger something and then you have to look back and kind of take a step back from it and be able to like I don't know like really be true to yourself through everything that's all and if uh, there's a tool that can help you through that use it doesn't matter what it is you know what I love about it you go into it knowing that you're going to be vulnerable and you're already open to be vulnerable if you agreed to do it you booked a session and you've paid for that session you know that you've already opened up the door to become vulnerable and to clear that out that's like the first really important step if you didn't decide to do that session, any session it, it is, right? Like, and that, that Kashuk Records does the same thing. Kashuk Records will make you write down the questions. And if you don't write the questions, you or I will not do mm-hmm. the reading. And that's because you're already deciding that you're vulnerable to that issue. You're willing to talk about it. And you know that it's something that needs to be understood, cleared out, worked on, accepted, grieved, or whatever it is. And so yeah. those are the really, I think that's those are the most impactful parts of spiritual work. Reiki or family constellation or getting any sort of reading, you're deciding to go to that those vulnerable places. You're deciding to open up and hear about them and work on them. And that's 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 the first step. It is a first step, but then I then that makes me think about my journey with therapy. How I started therapy when I was probably like twenty something when I was having my panic attacks. And how I wasn't open to it and how it, it did help me still. Like you, like you said, it did help me to a certain point, but only to a certain point because I wasn't open to be completely vulnerable and open up to the person that was there, like my therapist. Um, and I think back, I'm like, wow, if I'd only just been that open and vulnerable, how much further I would have gotten. That wasn't part of my path. I get that. But I think that with anything and something to take into consideration is the more open you are with anything the more you're going to get out of it. So some people might say, oh, I had a reading of this kind and it didn't really help me. It was like, really ask yourself, like, how much was I open to receiving the information and how much of it was maybe me holding myself back? Because that happens. You know, we only channel as much as we can for that person. If you're not open to hearing things, you're not going to get it. You're not going to receive it. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Totally. So changing, changing the subject a little bit onto something totally not spiritual. (laughs) I cut my hair, I chopped my hair. (laughs) So that was a big deal. Uh, was it this week? Last week? Was it this week? Last Thursday. That was last week. Last Thursday. Yeah. So it's a week ago. I cut my hair. Uh, obviously this episode is going to come out probably weeks later than this, but, um, it was a big deal. I felt like it was time for a change. It was time to do something new and to kind of do something that I felt like doing for so long, but there's something holding me back. So that felt very liberating. And I felt like, I don't know, I feel like I'm more myself now. I know it sounds silly, but I feel like we're all kind of, and a lot of people have said this to me of people wanting change and wanting to do things differently. And I think this was just one physical manifestation of that, of I'm ready for change. I'm ready to do something different. I don't want to keep doing the same thing I've done. And that's powerful, right? In itself, if anybody's feeling that way, just follow that feeling, trust it. Well, the other thing that we're changing or adding is we obviously those that have been listening to us for a while know that we're from Uruguay and so we speak Spanish. Um, And so we have a lot of people that would like to follow us more on the podcast because they've gotten readings with us in Spanish before, or, you know, we've taught them Akashic records or, you know, they know us, they or from over there, but they would like to be able to listen to the episodes, but obviously in their, in their mother language. And so we've now is taking the first steps to launch the podcast yeah. in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. We're really excited. It's been something that we've been going back and forth with for a while now. So it's not something new. It's something that we've really had on our radar for, I would, I want to say like at least almost since the beginning of the, of this podcast, because it's part of us, you know, it's part of the culture. It's part of how we got into all of these things. It was all with Spanish speaking kind of, um, healers. So for us, 
it feels like the right step. Um, and but it also feels we like, like that's where we trained. That's where our, our, where we began exactly. to become spiritual. It was it was in Uruguay. It was in South America. We know a lot exactly. of people that are doing the same things as us, and we know a lot of people who do tools. You know, use other tools there. And we had so many people that we wanted to interview, but we couldn't find them. Those people that did the same thing in English, so yeah. or don't speak English. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, or they, yeah, they can't. Or they can speak English, but it's very limited. They don't feel comfortable. Whatever it is. Um, so we kind of wanted to still be able to have those people on the podcast. So if you do understand Spanish, you're in luck. We're going to be launching in Spanish too. Um, if you don't, we're basically doing similar, the one-on-one episodes, we're just doing them in Spanish. So we're doing it the same subjects, but in Spanish, so you would hear the same thing. What will change up will be the interviews that we do with other people mostly, um, I think that we're a little bit more, um, I want to say, I know what you're going to say, opening up to other subjects in Spanish because the Hispanic yeah. community has been diving into the spiritual world a little bit sooner than, than the States has opened up to the Catholic records, for example, like it's existed for so many years in Uruguay yeah. and it's kind of new to the Northern hemisphere. So we can dive even deeper into subjects and things. Um, yeah, go a little bit crazy. <laughs> go a little bit more crazy. So yeah, we, we we're yeah, happy about that. I feel that. like there'd be. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. I feel like we'd probably. I feel like we'd probably not hold ourselves back as much, maybe um, with certain topics. Like we might do more controversial things, maybe um, in Spanish, just because we have the context, we have the people that we can talk to. Oh, and because um, Hispanics, we love drama. <laughs> <laughs> uh i don't i but, do uh, well not, not, not my own fit my own not my own drama but like external drama i'll watch yeah. it <laughs> yeah, maybe um but yeah it's it's a big step for us it's gonna require a lot more work obviously but we've gotten so much out of this podcast and met, met so many amazing people through this podcast that there's just no other way to go. Yeah, it's we have been awesome. To, it's been awesome. We have to, like, we have to do this stuff as well. There are so many people reaching out to us. Like, they're like, so when are you going to do this thing in Spanish? Like, I, I don't know, understand I anything so you're bad. saying. <laughs> and we're like, oh no. And we're like, okay, we're going to do it. So we've, we've committed to launching on the 17th of August. So if there's anybody here that speaks Spanish that prefers Spanish, we're going to have some episodes in Spanish. And like we said, a lot of them will be, um, the same topics in English, so we're kind of starting fresh, starting new with this podcast. It's going to be it's going to be called Entre Almas, Between Souls. But only because the Soul Tribe podcast in Spanish sounds awful, guys. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted something to do with souls, um, but we needed it to to be its own kind of energy and its own have its own like you know I don't know like its own kind of power with within itself. So we didn't want to force anything to be exactly the same and for it to just become what it needs to become and just flow with it so we're excited we're really excited about that and we'll and I know most of you might not speak Spanish but it's a big step for us so we wanted to like make sure you guys knew what was going on and it's like the big the, it's like a step that makes sense because it's a year it's a year in the launch of the English one so it was it made sense it was the next step for us We quickly interrupt this episode to let you guys know that we have the Level 1 Akashic Records course, virtual course, confirmed for August. The course dates are August 15, 16, and 22nd. And this is a Zoom course, so it's a virtual course. It's a group class. And we have a three days. So day one is generally theory. Day two is theory with practice of opening up your own Akashic Records. And Lucia and I walking you through that and talking a lot about experience and channeling information. And then day three, which is the 22nd, is all about you guys coming in and talking about your experience with opening your own for that week. Um, there's a lot of practice you need to do on your own and you know we're always there to support you. You'll also be included in our private Facebook group for additional support once you're on your own opening up your own Akashic Records. And it's a great course. The manual we've, you know, we've personally channeled through our masters and guides. 
and we put a lot of hard work into this and made sure this was a course. Basically, this is a course that we always wanted to take or have um, in a very open way, and we've really kind of just done it in a way where it's very open and you can explore your own channel and your own way of doing things um, while respecting the Akashic Record. So if this is something that you're interested in, be sure to email us. Our email address is soultribeacademy at gmail.com. Spaces are limited, so make sure that you contact us if you're interested and we'll send you all the information on pricing and all of that. And also, if there's anybody you know that might be interested in taking this course, make sure you share this information with them as well. And we'll have all of this information in the show notes, including the email, so it's easier for you guys to just contact us. And let's get back to the episode. But the other thing I'm very excited about is that we start training with Courtney. Yeah. Whom, if you guys have not heard her episode... Um, she's Courtney a, Starkey. Yeah, Starkey. She's a past life regressionist, hypnotherapist, and life between lives. Life between lives, her hypnotherapist, or life between lives, master regressionist. I don't, know. regressionist? I don't know what the life between lives. It's life. It's like the soul between the between living two lives. She can. She like brings you back to those in the middle. Those you know, yeah. where the soul is home. Um, but we're gonna start training with her. Um, by the time this episode comes out, we've already started, I think. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I'm very excited. I haven't done all the homework yet that she, I've done none of the homework yet. <laughs> I've done, I've done one or two audios. I listened to one or two audios that she's t- asked us to listen to before. Um, b- but I need to get on. How many are there? Cause I haven't looked. No, they're not. I think there's like there was three and she added two more. I think she added two more. Okay. But then we have, you have to like, it's like she wants you to listen to sessions that she's giving other um, people so that you start getting familiarized with how you, you know, how you give, take someone back. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's an exciting thing for us because it'll be something that we can help you guys with too. Like, and know. if you guys have heard episodes wow, before, you know be that cool. I'm obsessed with Michael yeah. Newton books and, LBL life between lives is Michael Newton's regression therapy. So I'm excited that I, I, yeah, she's, she's teaching us all this stuff. I'm very excited about this. Oh, it's so crazy. Me too. I feel really excited and I love her energy. Oh my gosh, she's like, amazing. She, I feel like we've known her, like we've, we've lived lives with her and I always, just, I follow her a lot on social media after like, I kind of just met her through the, the interview and I was following her before, but now that I actually met her, felt her energy and we're going to study with her, I felt like she's really on the ball with everything. Like she's constantly posting. She's keeping people up to date. She's puts up amazing videos. Like she's, she's, she's got a mission. And I feel like us studying with her is, is important for us. It feels like the right path. Yeah. It's, she's it's totally crazy. aligned with, with, with us. And we loved interviewing her. She totally vibes with us and... Yeah. She's awesome. <laughs> we should do like a chat with her where we just have her come on and we just talk about life between lives. Yes, let's do that. I like the idea. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with those books. I'm obsessed with those. And she just got her book launch. Um, yeah. So we she can get to her to talk that. a little bit about, about what her book, you know, shares and stuff like that. I need to actually order that. it myself so I can read it because, as you all know, I love reading. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah. I have some news of my veggie news of my own my <laughs> veggie garden and i don't know if you guys remember when like quarantine first started what was it like in march march yeah i was like i feel like i need to do a garden i feel like i need to do a garden I feel... well i did it guys if you don't follow him on amazing. instagram <laughs> i've had i had a little bit of a hiccup so my hiccup was i only took two days two days off from the garden we went to like a camping site and I had, you know, Holland's never really, it's, it hasn't really been, there hasn't been a summer. And so we actually ended up going the two hottest days of the year. And then it was never hot again. So the only two days <laughs> that I left the house were literally those, the two days that it was the hottest days of the year. I had, I thought, okay, it's supposed to be hot. We'll see. It's Holland. I said, I'm going to make sure to like water them down and I'll leave them all inside of my greenhouse 
because they'll stay humid that way and they won't dry up in the two days. So I wet them bef- literally before I popped into the car. I was making sure that they were, you know, nice and moist and their soil was moist. And I'm like, okay, we're good. I'll, I'll, I'll come right back to water them when I'm back in two days. And nope, all my tomatoes, my tomatoes died. I had like five or six tomato plants. They all died. My five paprika plants all died. Well, they didn't fully die. They totally dried up. Um, and I thought, can I save them or are they gone? And so I kind of trimmed them back and I said, it will be what it will be. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I left them in the greenhouse and all but five grew back. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. But so I also had like eggplants that had, that had, um, deceased also, but they grew back now. I had a few other plants. So yeah, they all grew. That's good. Almost all of the, almost all of them grew back. But I was I saw your zucchinis. Oh my god, zucchinis are amazing. They look awesome. I just picked one today, and so I mean, I could pick one every day. No way for dinner if I wanted. Yeah, the only thing is there's not enough bees because I have it outside of the greenhouse. There's not enough bees, so I have to hand pollinate them myself. Oh, you have to do that yourself. Yeah, I have to do it myself because the bees aren't doing it. Where did you learn all of this? YouTube, guys. YouTube it. Oh, my God. Hand pollinate a zucchini or a crochet. crochet. What's the difference between crochet and zucchini? Courgette. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. I think so. Um, How how to hand pollinate. You have to grab the feet, the, the... female and the male like hey it's like uh it's like humans almost but just just plant wow. version <laughs> jeez like that's i would have been like cool i'll plant it let it grow see when it comes in so it happens with zucchinis and i don't know what other plant it happens with i don't remember now it, it, there was other plants that it happens with not tomatoes you're good not eggplants you're good like it's just some some vegetable plants have to be hand pollinated if there's not enough bees because usually the bees will do the job for you but there's i mean just to think you just go to the supermarket and pick up a few zucchinis and you're good but it's like look at all the work that goes into it like we i don't think people really appreciate that enough it it changes your perspective when you eat you like appreciate it more yeah i think you appreciate it more you and I'm I'm starting to become more aware of the vib- vibration of each, like the energy of each thing that I'm growing when I eat it. So it's no longer just I'm going to the supermarket, I'm buying strawberries or I'm buying this. Like I now like recognize the energy of each of those components that I'm going to be putting into my body. Really? So it's teaching me. Yeah. you Because now you're interacting directly with the plant. Now you start feeling their energy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I had heard this wow. really nice story or a story like, a, well, it's, I don't know if it's a story. Uh, Bruce is it called Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden had this like interview thing going on uh, on Gaia TV and they were talking at one point about I think like vibration energy of things and I think it was Bruce that was talking about how when the the plant knows recognizes the energy of the individual that takes care of it so apparently what the plant does is when it needs assistance and it feels the energy of that individual in its proximities or in, in the room, it will release it will release the sort of like vibration that will call the attention of that individual and say, hey, by the way, like give me some assistance. And you'll feel the need to go look over at the plant or you'll be like, oh, I wonder if my plants need water. Like it's almost like this thing where you pick up on the energy, you just don't know you're doing it kind of thing. And I thought, oh, that is the cutest story I have ever heard. Wow. My plants know me and, they, and they're sure they calling do. me. That's... That's, I don't know, that like, that like made my heart melt. I loved hearing that. That's weird. Yeah. That's, that sounds, that sounds like it could be that way. I mean, I don't see why not, right? It makes sense. Yeah. They are living, they are living beings too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They're, they just have a different collective than ours. Um, yeah. But yeah. But so that, that brings me to like the whole food thing. Like I've been more aware of that energy in the food thing. And I've been more aware of that because of, you know, Corona hit. And, and those who heard the podcast episode with crystals and fosters will hear crystals and fosters say that the new currency is actually health. Right. So mm-hmm. like the next coming, I think it was next coming five years. I think they had said it was like, I think so. Health was the thing that you were going to be focusing on instead of the old style money. Right. Um, and so 
around the time around the time that corona quarantine started happening in March, we had I had a contact with Paul and Paul, whom, if you've heard the interview or not, Paul and Paul had taught me to do access bars. They they trained me. And so we had them on the podcast and they talked about that. And they're very they're very um, into this this small device that fits in like the palm of your hand. It's smaller than the palm of your hand. Um, and it's called the Healy Resonance Machine. Um, and so they talk about it on the podcast episode. But I, on my own, aside from them, I was speaking to them about the device. I think it came up because I was talking to Paul about how I'm always getting sick. My entire mm. life, I was just always sick. And like, I mean, I'm talking about every month, my throat was killing me. And you were getting sick so much. Oh my gosh. It was awful. Like, I was getting the strongest antibiotic when I was in Uruguay. I was getting the strongest antibiotic they could give me because it was getting the sick. It was, it was just getting so bad that they were like, if you don't get antibiotics, and I was trying to stay away from them, obviously, but if I didn't get antibiotics, just the infection was getting so bad. And so it was just a cycle of more antibiotics, more getting sick. And, you know, I started bringing into my awareness um, homeopathic medicine, uh, Bach flowers. That's why I reintroduced Bach flowers into my life recently, um, which has helped me a lot. But so talking to Paul, he's like, you need to, you know, try this device out. And I went over to, to their to their house and he showed me the machine. He showed me the procedure and he, he got me to try it out for like one program. It has programs on it. And I was totally on board and it's not cheap. It, it was like, it's like 400 and something for like the, there's different devices with different programs. So you have the basic package and then you have more expensive packages. Right. And so I was, at the time I was like, wow, like, I don't know if I can spend this right now on this. I have other things that I need to do. Um, but I ended up going, you know what? It's health. And if they're telling me that they that, that this can like seriously help me sustain my vibration and help me get better and many things, not just health, then yeah, you know what? I'm going to invest in it. I'm going to try it out. So I did. Um, I haven't been sick, Lorena. That was March. No, you haven't. Wasn't it earlier than March? I know I received it when quarantine. Okay, a little bit before oh. quarantine started, I received it April, at the maybe. house. You haven't been sick. No, I've almost gotten sick many times. You almost got sick two times. And then I would grab the device and go, "Uh uh-uh, no, I'm not getting sick. And I would run the device and I would run immune system. And then they were nice enough, like when quarantine hit, they were nice enough to create a new program that's called Bioenergetic Boost. And Bioenergetic Boost, what it would do is like runs, it runs different frequencies on you that gives you everything you need to help fight through these times that we're going through. So it was like a specific program created to help you with this whole issue of Corona that's like around us. Right now they're not guaranteeing that you're going to be healthy. They're working with your vibration and your energy. So it's important that people understand that. Like you're not going to buy it and be like, Oh, I'm never getting sick ever again in my life. No, basically what it is, is it's working with your energy and it's, it's like balancing things out. Right. If you have the more expensive package, you have a resonance. It's called the resonance where like it can actually read your mm. energy and it'll tell you which program you need to run and it'll balance you back up. In my case, I don't have that package right now. And you can, you can, you know, you can add on very little by little or whatever, but I don't have that one right now. The one I have is I kind of go, I think I need this. I think I need that. And when I'm getting sick, I run bacteria. I run, um, tonsils. There's a program called tonsils. I've also run, um, immune system, bioenergetic boost, which is this one they created around Corona time. So I'll like literally like OCD and like run and you, you can't like, you can't harm yourself with running too many. But the thing is, like you said, you just wear it around the house when you're cleaning or when you're even just like hanging out, yeah. reading a book or walking around the house or cooking. I even so, run, there's a program for sleeping. It's, yeah. I think it was called deep sleep, the program or, or something sleep. Did that I work? run that one when I was in the beginning of quarantine, obviously with all the like bombardment of news and things going on, I was having issues sleeping. I was like <gasps> overwhelmed. Like my brain was just like exploding. Right. And which everybody had. But then I, I let that pass for a while and I thought, oh no, I have this program for sleeping. Why didn't I run this? I wouldn't think about this sooner. And literally I would, those, the nights that I ran it before sleeping and I would fall asleep with it running because it's on like your wrist, right? I'd pass out. I would totally pass out and I wouldn't have those issues I was having the other nights. So to me, like it's been the best investment I've ever made. 
And if, if someone, Health-wise for sure. if someone's considering going like the, a holistic way and this is a, this is an amazing way to go. And guys, it's like totally worth, I, I can't believe I haven't gotten sick. I want one. Yeah. Yeah. Considering how sick you had been all freaking year, 2020 from the beginning. And even before that, I, I was like, Lucy's got like, something's wrong with her because it was like, you'd get okay for like two days. You were fine. And then you get sick again, but sick in bed. Like you couldn't like, take care yeah. of Aurora. It's really bad. It was, like, yeah, it was, it was, bad. It, was, it was to a point where there was, it was something deeper. So I guess whatever you're using with the Healy, like the, the different things that you're using definitely helped because you haven't really changed much else. Yeah. You haven't really necessarily changed your diet. You haven't, you know, it's not like you're exercising that much more or less. Um, I'm going to try to remember to explain how to explain it. So don't take my word for it exactly because I am remembering off the top. I'm not like a vibration expert, but basically what the Healy works on is your cells, each individual cell in your body has a vibration. And when you're born, it has this like perfect vibration. You're just born, right? You're healthy. Your 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 cells are new. When age starts hitting, when you start getting older, your cells start, quote unquote, kind of like you know dying, or their energy starts coming down. And when it hits a level of lower vibration, that's when sickness comes in. For example, cancer and stuff like that. So what this is is, is a preventative medicine. What it's doing is it's helping your cells keep a vibration, a level of a vibration where sickness can't leap in or shouldn't be able to leap in, right? It's keeping the cells vibration at a, at a, at a healthy place. Um, and I mean, we're gonna, I, I want to get Paul and Paul on, on another episode with us because they have a lot of stories of people that they've, you know, had come over to their house and run the machine on them or, and that person ends up deciding to buy one because yeah, it's amazing. Um, but those success stories, they have them. Not only do I have them. I mean, for example, my knee, I used to run and have my yeah. menisc thing gone. I ran for every day for, I think it was like three weeks or something. I ran uh, programs to, to help myself out. And the knee thing as a secondary, because I wasn't actively going for the knee. I was going for a bunch of other stuff that I felt that I had. And, it, and my knee, one day I went for a run. I'm like, what? My knee doesn't hurt anymore. I don't need my knee support anymore. That's it. Never use my knee support again. I used it for like six years. <laughs> like it's so weird. Yeah. I want one so bad, but I can't get it here. I know. But I, if you ever come visit, which for now you can't, you can order it to my house and then, and then you, yeah, you'll take it with you. Um, so for those, for those interested, there are certain countries that have it already introduced into the system for those uh, that want it. Um, United States was, was launched in May. So it's new, it's yeah. new to the, to the device. UK has had it for a while. Um, most of Europe, if I'm not mistaken, has it almost, almost all the countries of Europe have it, has them almost all of them, I think. Um, so yeah, guys, we'll, we'll put the link under the episode. Yeah, definitely like get in touch with us if you're interested because Lucy has tons of information. She'd be happy to like talk to you about it, but also she has the contact so she can, she can definitely get you in touch with the people and, and send you the information. So uh, it's worth, even if you're curious, she can send you the info. It's been, I mean, f- me looking at it from the outside, it's been like life changing for you. It's been and amazing. That's also why we're sharing it because, you know, we, we talk a lot about healing and making ourselves um, kind of feel better in every aspect of our life. It's not just, you know, if, you're, if your body and you're getting sick constantly or you're, you're, you're suffering with a specific thing that you could help yourself with, that's not only going to help you mentally, but also, also going to help you like spiritually. They're, it's all connected. It's like a triad, right? Where it's, it's when one thing's off, you're off balance. So, you know, this goes for if you use a Healy or you're going to use it or not, it doesn't matter. Like health is like at the top of the pyramid. Yeah. If you have health, then everything else can fall into place. But it's not, it doesn't just help you with that. Like there were, there was a day where I was feeling really low, really depressed, really sad. I didn't yeah. know why I was like, I'm not. and then I literally was like, I grabbed my, 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 I grabbed the Healy programs. I'm like, what can I run to help me? And I'm like, Oh, look, positive thoughts. And I, I never had seen the program cause I never paid attention to it. And literally, I think 30 minutes later or 45 minutes later, 
what I had been feeling the whole day of like feeling negative and kind of feeling down, it literally went away, but I didn't realize it till like way after because it's like I switched and then all of a sudden somehow I concentrated on something. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And then that was it. It was gone. And then after the end of the day, I go, whoa, how did I not pick up a house? How quickly I switched from really upset to okay. And yeah, I realized that at night. It balances like, things out, right? Yeah. It, it, it's at a cellular level. I mean, level. we're all frequency. We're all energy. Totally. So it has a quantum sensor in it. So it's like hanging, you know, I hang it on my shirt. Some people put it around their neck on like a, a string thing. I hang it on like my clothes. And it's the quantum sensor picks up the frequency that your body needs because it doesn't want to throw a frequency at you that's going to like not stick. It, under one program, there's certain frequencies it's going to it's going to want to run, but it's only going to run the ones that your cells are going to accept. Because if if your cell let's see example of like via like vitamins, let's say that your your body's packed with vitamin C, and you take vitamin C, you're just going to it's going to drain out of your body. So you're just throwing something in that your body doesn't need. It's going to get rid of it, right? So this is just a waste of time for you. You want a frequency that your cell needs that your cell's going to absorb, and so the quantum sensor senses what you need what your cell needs and it sends you that frequency. That's cool. Oh, there's this one I like thing that. I didn't tell you about that I'm obsessed with that I I want it. I don't I don't have it. There's different programs and different devices they have. But there's this one device they have that's for, for supplements, Lorena. You can take B12, oh. you can take Bach flowers with this thing. What? It sends your cells the energy of Bach flowers and I when I found out I went, "What?" <laughs> oh, you got to try that. I know I I have to, I have to look into like the products again, but it's, it literally is a list of supplements and you, and it will, and, and also it will let your body know what supplement, your body will let it know what supplements See, you need. That's something I need because I'm low on vitamin B12 and like B6, I think, or in B1, but also vitamin D and my iron somehow, cause I got my blood work done the other day went oh my God, drastically you so down. Be, yeah. You would so use that. Yeah. This one's oh, a different program. This one's like man. you pay per month. Um, but then what they said, like, I remember add up the amount of money you're going to spend on that's supplements what they were anyway. saying, the amount of money set, spent on supplements where you have all the supplements in one place where it's just, you go, Oh, give me the, give me a little bit of this one. Right. Kind of thing. Yeah. Like I take vitamin B complex, vitamin D I take omegas and then I take a probiotic every day. So and inside of those add pills, all that up. there are probably things that you're not fully taking. Whereas oh, and there's shit in it. This for sure. thing yeah. knows exactly which of those particles or parts of it you need. I'm not a scientist, but I those, wonder how that works. So that'd be fascinating. To I, like I, more I about. literally I, I I joined one of the meetings for people that like have Healy. I every once in a while I'll join a meeting because I want to see like what products are updated or what's new. And it was talking. They were talking about that new thing, and I went, what? But when they said Bach flowers, like they had my attention. I was like, what? You have Bach flower frequencies? I don't have to, mm-hmm. I don't have to buy Bach flowers from Helen and Barrett anymore. I, you know how expensive it is for me to get it in the Cayman Islands? Is it? It's so expensive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cause I have to order them in. They're not on Island. Darn. So, I mean, just that itself. If it's just Bach flowers, I, I'm dying to take Bach flowers right now, but but that's cool. I want to eventually I get that. Is, I want to eventually get those programs. You should. Yeah. You should. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, like we said before, if there's any curiosity or any questions, feel free to like message Lucia. We'll, we'll put the podcast email and, and the link and stuff so you guys can check it out. Yeah. And but we'll also we, make sure to bring Paul and Paul on yeah. to further speak about it because they're the ones that introduced me to it. They follow every latest product. Um, they know everything. Because they're like, they've been healing, they're healers too. And they've been using this as their number one tool to heal people. People that, you know, don't want to buy the device or can't, can't buy the device will just come over to their house and they'll run a program on them and that helps them. That's, it's, it's another type of healing session. So they're up to date with all of it. Yeah, they're up to date with all of it. Um, and then I think just lastly, to kind of round up the catch up and all these spiritual rants that were going on, um, we are doing some updates to our Kashik Records Level 1 course. So there's a few aspects to this. So one is um, we're going to continue our Zoom or virtual classes, which is you guys uh, virtually connecting with us on Zoom, and we teach you the Akashic Records that way. Our pricing is changing quite a bit for August, so 
we'll make sure that we email anybody that's interested with that information. So if you are interested in joining the August group, please uh, reach out to us at the Soul Tribe Academy. So it's soultribeacademy at gmail.com. I'll put that in the show notes. And then we're also, within the next few weeks, I'm not sure, maybe it might even be live by the time this episode airs, but we're going to also have it on our Thinkific site. So at the moment, we have our Soul Contracts course up on there. And we're, we've got our Bach Flowers course on there, which is um, new. So we'll share those links as well. But we're also going to put our Akashic Records Level 1 course on there. So it's a course that is basically, it's going to be very similar to what we teach on Zoom. Not the same. It's not the same level. It's not going to have the same exact support that you have um, of us going on a call with you and answering your questions and being able to just... Um, even channel for you because we do that on on uh, as needed on our course online. Uh, so this course will be at your own pace. It will be online on our Thinkific. So it'll be a video course. You'll go through the videos. You're going to get the manual. You're going to get the verse to open and close the records. You have videos of us explaining how everything works. And then we also have added in um, a few other things like some kind of bonus material that you guys, that'll help support you through the process. So we've also included that anybody that does this Thinkific course that we're going to post soon will be included in our Facebook group. So that is, that'll be the extra support that we provide for you, given that when you're on our Zoom calls, it's just easier for us to give you all the answers that you need and answer all your questions. So Anybody that does this Akashic Records Level 1 course will be able to join this private Facebook group. And this is, like we mentioned, the Thinkific course. It's going to be on our website. And we're really excited because as we've kind of progressed and we're changing things up, we felt the need to offer different options for people. And we know some of you can't join these classes. You don't have time. We know some of you, um, you know, were struggling because of the time difference, for example, because we do it at different times than maybe where you're, like, for example, we had someone from Australia join. It was 3 a.m. for people in Australia. Like, it's, it's, it's hard, right? And some of you are working, and, and some of you on the weekend, you don't want to be sitting on a course all day or for a few hours. You want to have that freedom of being able to do the course whenever you want. And it's, for, it's yours for life, so you can refer back to it whenever you want and as needed. And then if you have questions, we support you through the Facebook group. We also, in that group, add in, you know, not only us support you, but also the other people that have done this course. So they can help you through something and people answering each other's questions and it's very supportive. So um, we're excited to be offering that option as well. Our Zoom course, um, the price will be updated, as like we said. So if you're interested, let us know. And we wanted to offer different options for everybody because we thought it was important. And things are shifting right now. So this is kind of the way we felt yeah. to move forward. And yeah. as a mother for me, like I usually look for courses mm-hmm. where I can do it online and play and stop at my own time. Yeah. Um, there's some courses you can't I feel do that, that too. obviously. But yeah, I prefer that. I feel that sometimes too, depending on the course. But we also understand the need for some people. Like that was my case. I needed the support of somebody. I did my mine online too. My level no, two. Akashic Records. I, I yeah. I I also understand that because that's how I did. It. I did it in person. But when you're like a mom and you're busy and you're working and you're the like sometimes that yeah. even if you want that option, you don't have it. And why why should you have to choose between yes or no, like all or nothing? You know. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, if, if you feel like you're a person that needs a little bit more support or you need someone to hold your hand a little bit more, that's what the Zoom virtual class is for. Um, and then we also do a support class, which is added value of, uh, you know, we, we go on a call where each of you tell us how you're doing, how you've been channeling, and we can help you if you're feeling blocked. We can give you advice. We can guide you through that. And it's been great. I mean, the, all the groups you've had have been, been just amazing. Really great students, and they're they're all they're all really yeah. cool, and it's been fun to meet them. We've also got a lot of questions about level two. So level one, just so if anybody doesn't know, is you reading your own akashic records, which is the first step. 
So we always recommend people do that for a while. And then once you feel ready, if you even feel called to move on to level two, level two is reading other people's Akashic records. So, you know, not everybody's journey is the same, but some, some of you might feel like you want to be able to open somebody else's Akashic records, maybe not to read Akashic records, but because it'll complement. like we've had people that do therapy, um, are like psychologists, or they want to be able to open up their Akashic records to help people assist people in a different way and be able to channel more information and be more intuitive with their readings that it's great for that, for example. So we are going to do level two. We, we just, have not been able to complete the manual and it's something that we channel from the beginning to the end and it's channeled from our masters our guides and our beings of light so it's something that we want to make sure we get right and we want to make sure we get the method and the way that this information is conveyed to everybody in the right way so we're not rushing it um but this is something that's in our radar and it's something that we're going to develop mo most likely for 2021 mm -hmm. so keep an eye out for that um, but I think for the time being, we're going to focus on level one, making that the best it can be supporting you guys the most that we can. And then once everybody's kind of gotten their, their kind of bearings with level one and feel confident with that, we move on to level two and that's a whole other story and it's more complex and there's a lot more to it. And there's, um, there's a lot that we want to make sure we don't miss out on and make sure that we can provide the best support possible. So yeah, I think that's all of the updates that I have. I don't know if you want to add in anything else, Lucia. No, we've, we've talked about uh, a lot of stuff that we've been up to and doing. Um, I, my most, my most important thing was I wanted to talk about my health because this is a really important time for health and Christmas and Foster talked about it and, We've already talked about previous episodes where this isn't the only virus that's going to hit us. So this is a time to put, like Christos and Foster were saying, put health as your number one currency. And so I wanted to kind of share with everybody how I've been doing that, being a person that's always had issues with that. Um, so yeah, don't don't hesitate to, you know, pop over any questions to me um, and and I can, you know, contact you and, and answer you back and and anything you want to know, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. And I, I know that for some people it's very out of their price range, but it was out of my price range as well. And I don't really, now you wouldn't imagine not having, I it. <laughs> would have been sick so many times at this point. Can you imagine being quarantined in the house and being sick and not knowing if it was Corona most of the time, it would have drove me crazy. It was the best thing that happened to me. Like, I think that the angel sent Paul and Paul to talk to me about the device and, and bring it to my, like, you know, awareness and, and, and kind of, they, they, they convinced me that, that it was, it was a good step, even though it was pricey for me. Um, so guys don't hesitate to like ask any questions or to even just think about it because we spend a lot of money on other, other stuff. Why wouldn't we spend on keeping our bodies healthy to keep our incarnations, you know? Yeah. And vibrationally high and helping. Cause that's part of all of this too, right? Yeah. Keeping our vibe high and our energy high. Yep. So perfect. So, like we said, um, if there's any questions about anything we've talked about, message us. We'll put all the links below. And we want to make sure you guys know that we have our Instagram and our Facebook, so make sure you're following us on those. The links will be below as well. And, yeah, we're excited for everything that's coming, and we hope you guys join us for the ride. We're excited for a lot of little things that we're putting together and going to try to you know, make sure that we provide the best content for you guys through either this podcast or the Spanish one. And we really appreciate all your support, guys. And we hope you have a great week. So we'll see you next week with a new episode. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.